Hello there and welcome to Coley's Garden. Today is the 3rd of July. It's a beautiful fresh day here today in the northeast of Ireland. And I'm pretty sure at some point we're going to have a light shower. But in today's video we're going to continue giving Coley's Secret Garden a complete makeover. But first of all, I'm going to show you how to create organic matter by using leaves to create leaf mold. So just coming up here to the side of our shed, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to gather up all the leaves that have been falling from these beautiful ash and sycamore trees since October last year. So just coming over here, you can see some of it has already decomposed and turned into compost, which is what I'm going to be using to plant my new trees into the Coley Secret Garden. So you can see here, look at all this beautiful goodness. This is 100% organic. So that's all the leaves that have broken down over the last couple of months. And it's turned it into this beautiful, rich, organic compost. So I'm going to be filling my bucket up today and then I will take you into Coley's Secret Garden and I will show you all of the new trees that I'm putting into the garden. Okay, so we filled the bucket and as you can see, I have some leaves in here as well as some twigs. So all of this is going to add so much nutrients to the new gardens. As I've explained to you in my previous videos, I do have um, a few spots in the garden that have clay soil and of course you constantly have to make amendments to improve the soil so this is definitely going to do that and I've got lots of more to work with if I need to which I will be actually I will be adding some more into the new woodland garden bring back some nutrients into the dry soil that I have out there too okay so now I'm going to take you into the patio so I'll show you my new trees Okay, as promised, I did say I'm going to either find some fuchsia or budlia to put into the new gardens. And I decided to go to my local garden centre, which is Woody's, and I got myself a bargain, as you can see here. They had some beautiful fuchsia in the clearance section, and I only paid five euros each for these beautiful fuchsia plants. So I'm going to take these into the Coley Secret Garden and of course I'm going to be adding that new soil. I also bought some chrysanthemums. We have some beautiful begonias that also came from the clearance section. Okay, it's just coming over here now. I'm going to bring this with me and then I will show you where we're going to place our new beautiful fuchsia. Okay, so before I begin, I just want to show you what I've done here. Um, I did add some, the same actually, the same compost from the front yard before I put some of this bark on. And because like I said, the soil is really bad here in some parts of the land at least. Um, but I did finish off with the bark and I did put the terracotta pot here for a reason because I'm going to dedicate this spot to either some native Irish shrubs such as broom, dogwood, I might even put in a blackberry or a red currant. So we'll see, but I've also used this plant pot here as well, temporarily of course, because now my fuchsia is going to go in here. So yeah, this soil is going to really bring some organic matter into this plant, as you can see. Looking a bit dry because they weren't in the clearance section. So they've probably been a little bit neglected, but not for much longer. So I'm going to do this off camera again because this is another unedited video. I just pause the video as I go along and then I will show you how it looks. And I'm also going to be planting the other fuchsia somewhere over here because like, I want to create like a dense border. So I'm going to dedicate a spot somewhere in here for that fuchsia plant. I just want to show you up close my little issue that I have so you can see we're just about reaching clay right now and at this point I can't go any deeper um, but it is deep enough for the pot to fit in here so I'm going to be adding a little bit of that organic matter before I put my plant in 
and that will add lots of nutrients back into the soil okay like so just a, just a good layer of organic soil just remove any rocks and this is also a well-drained area so it's not too bad the plant will do really well now I'm just going to add some water to this first So you can see the soil is really rich and um, with this goodness here we'll just make it all the more better. Okay. So you can see here it's perfect fit. Okay so I might have to stake up this fuchsia for the moment um, because it is quite flimsy. But you can see, look at all oh, that rich compost now. It's going to really help this plant. And then I'm just going to backfill it with all of the native soil. And then I will add some bark. And the bark will protect the plant. It re will actually retain water. It will stop any weeds from growing in here. And eventually the bark will break down and add more compost to this raised garden bed. So this raised garden bed is getting lots of nutritional organic matter and I still have lots more to work with you can see here just going to keep adding layers just to build up that soil like so Now we're going to add some more water. That should do really well in here. And as you can see, I spaced it way back away from the border because I do want this to turn into a beautiful shrub and have lots of space to grow. So this is going to require a good drink. Okay, so I've just finished planting my beautiful fuchsias and everything now is looking absolutely gorgeous. So eventually these will turn into a beautiful dense shrub which will attract lots of pollinators. As you can see here, I did cut off some of the dead branches and that will encourage new healthy growth. So that's it guys. Of course I'm never really done. I will come back and add lots of perennial flowers in here for different seasons. But you can see it's completed almost. Wow, what a difference. So I did allow a lot of spacing as you can see because these will grow and they will fill in the space. But that's it for Cody's Secret Garden. Thanks very much for watching and God bless.